Let's now look at example 22. Suppose that an adult population in the proportion Suppose that in an adult population, the proportion of people who are both overweight and suffer hypertension is 0 0.09. The proportion of people who are not overweight but suffer hypertension is 0 0.11. The proportion of people who are overweight but do not suffer hypertension is 0 0.02. And the proportion of people who are neither overweight nor suffer hypertension is 0.78. An adult is randomly selected from this population. We want to find the probability that the person selected suffers hypertension, given that he is overweight. We then want to find the probability that the selected person suffers hypertension, given that he is not overweight. And finally, we want to compare the two probabilities to give an answer to the question as to whether overweight people tend to suffer from hypertension. Okay. Let's first kind of um, interpret what we are given up in the beginning of the question. So suppose that in an adult population, the proportion of people who are both overweight and suffer hypertension is 0 0.09. So they both have overweight and hypertension. So what we've got for that 0 0.09 is that the probability that they are overweight and, and and will always be our intersection sign, they're overweight and they suffer from hypertension, we'll call that H, was 0 0.09. All right, now let's see what the second item is that we have information for. All right, so the proportion of people who are not overweight but suffer hypertension. So they are the complement of overweight. They're not overweight, but, and they have hypertension. That's 0.11. All right, so let's go back and let's, oops, not that. Let's see what we got here. So they are not overweight. So overweight's complement, and I'm going to, um, use the little C notation. I think that's what we're using in this book, but sometimes different things are used for complement. Sometimes we'll put an A line over the top of the letter. Sometimes we'll put a little um, apostrophe or a, um, just a little um, dash uh, on the top there uh, to indicate that we've got a complement. So overweight complement and hypertension. And that ends up being 0.11. Now let's go to the next piece of information and again interpret it. So the proportion of people who are overweight but don't suffer hypertension. So they're overweight and not hypertensive is 0 0.02. All right, so... the probability that they're overweight and the intersection symbol, but they're not hypertensive, so we want the hypertensive complement, and that was 0 0.02. And then let's see, there's one more piece of information before we start getting into the question itself. Um, and the proportion of people who are neither overweight nor hypertensive, so they're not overweight, they're, and they're not hypertensive, is 0.78. All right, so the probability that someone is not overweight, and again, it's an and, so we're going to have our intersection symbol. And they're not only not overweight, but they're not hypertensive. So we want the complement here. Oops. That is 0.78. All right, so now that we've got all the information from the initial question, let's go to 
what the actual questions want us to answer. So number one of those questions. All right, so number one said, find the probability that the person selected suffers from hypertension given that he is overweight. All right, so we are looking for probability that they have hypertension given, whoops, given that they're overweight. All right, now let's use our formula. Our formula is the probability that they're hypertensive and overweight over the second one in the notation and I'm trying to get that box to go away but it's not going to the probability of them being overweight all right now we don't have the probability that they are overweight yet. We'll get that. Um, but let's notice we do have the probability that they're hypertensive and overweight. Realize hypertensive and overweight is the same thing as overweight and hypertensive. We can switch those around. It is commutative. All right, so the top is definitely 0 0.09. But let's think about the bottom for a second. Okay, so the people who are overweight. Well, if we think about it, the people who are overweight, well, if they are overweight and hypertensive, and they're overweight and non-hypertensive, that takes care of all the people who are overweight. All right, so if we add together the overweight and hypertensive, and I'm going to start using and just to make it a little quicker to get that, instead of getting that intersection symbol every time, and we add together the overweight people who are not hypertensive, that's really all of the overweight people, those who are hypertensive and those who are not hypertensive. So, if we add those probabilities, let's see, that's 0 0.09 plus um, 0 0.02, that gives us 0 0.11. All right, so the probability of being overweight is 0 0.11. Let's now go ahead and finish this problem. So the probability of being hypertensive and overweight was 0 0.09. The probability of being overweight is 0.11. That's really 9 over 11, or we can put this into our calculator to get the decimal. 0.8182. Okay. So, let's go to question 2. Question 2 um, is asking us, Find the probability that the selected person suffers hypertension given that he is not overweight. Okay, so we're looking at the probability that they have hypertension given that they are not overweight. So overweight complement. Okay, now again, if we use our formula for conditional probability, we want the intersection of hypertension and not overweight. So, O complement. And this will be divided by the probability of them not being overweight of that complement, that second thing in the notation in our conditional probability here. All right, now just like the last one, we don't have the probability that someone is not overweight, so we have to get that. And if we think about it, those who are not overweight who have hypertension and those who are not overweight who don't have hypertension tension will include everybody that is not overweight. So the probability of someone not being overweight is 
is going to be the not overweight people with hypertension. And add that to the not overweight people who don't have hypertension. And that's all of the not overweight people. And I'm just using the word and instead of our little intersection symbol just because it takes me a few minutes to go get that for us. All right, so let's fill in here. The probability of not overweight and hypertension. Not overweight and hypertension is 0.11. And not overweight and not hypertensive is 0.78. And this gives us 0.89. All right, so let's go back right here. And let's fill in and figure this out. So the probability that they were hypertensive and not overweight, hypertensive and not overweight, remember they, they can be in two different positions here, is 0.11. And then we want to put that over the probability they're not overweight, that's 0.89. And let's stick that into our calculator. 0.1236 if I round to four decimal places. Okay, now question three asked us to compare these, and let's just look back at that um, wording for a minute. Compare the two probabilities just found to give an answer to the question as to whether overweight people tend to suffer from hypertension. So let's notice if we go back here, the probability someone will have hypertension, given that they are overweight, is an 82% almost. Um, the probability that someone will have hypertension, given that they're not overweight, is only about 12%. So we can answer definitively from this information that um, those who are overweight, overweight, have a much greater probability of suffering from hypertension. All right, then that of course makes sense, knowing what we do about um, weight and hypertension.